This is a document. I have it in English. Fred, what do you have there? Uh, we have it in... Uh, show Jim. I'll just show yes. the camera here. This is in Ukrainian. This is in Ukrainian. And if you flip the page, yeah. there is uh, signatures. signatures. Yeah. Um, it is uh, a document that been um, signed and sealed by the Minister of Education ordering, this is an order actually, ordering the entire education system of Ukraine to embark in Christian education and giving Kindness Foundation a sole responsibility for the content of the programming in a Christian programming. And this is every subject. This is like art, literature, uh, uh, everything. It permeates yes. entire education you have, system. You have the sole responsibility for this? We, we have, this is, this uh, and you're, 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 and Even though you're both from, uh, from, from that part of the world, they would see this as a, as a Western uh, NGO? No, they don't see it as a Western NGO. This is a, a Russian, Russian and Ukrainian based uh -huh. organization with the help from the West. And, and uh, with, with, what's this document here? Uh, this is an agreement at the state level. Uh, we not only have a federal uh, agreement, but we also have, a, a, with each state, we have an agreement that spells out the responsibilities where Kindness Foundation has its responsibilities and then the state education system has their responsibility. By the way, I should point out to our viewers here, we'll just uh, take a shot of this page again. Uh, these stamps in most of the world are really important. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. When I lived in Israel, nothing happened without stamps. In India, nothing mm -hmm. happens without stamps. In Africa, nothing happens without stamps. Here in Canada, we're kind of stamp deficient. You know, but, <laughs> but boy, most of the world, those stamps are critical. I mean, they, yes. they have the stamp of authority for sure. Do you want yes. to know a sweet irony in this incredible story? I, some of us are wondering if we're hearing right, actually, because it's just so unbelievable. Fred, your father was a lay preacher. Yes, he, he was. He actually spent time in prison because of the Word of God. Yes, yes. And now, uh, <laughs> now you're bringing it to just about every walking, living, breathing student mm -hmm. in the former Soviet Union. So yes. how many years have you been doing this now? How, how, how long have you had this responsibility? Fifteen years. And, and how's it going? What, uh, as you assess it, I mean, you're the, you're the founders and you're the driving force behind it, and maybe it's hard for you to be objective. But if you can be objective for a minute, how's it going? Is it a, is it a success? It is very successful, uh, and I think it's successful because we are not uh, promoting our own agenda. We are helpers for educational system. We are assisting governmental educational system in a way they would like us to assist. Mm. Any conference and seminar we are preparing and holding is jointly uh, preparing uh, with the governmental educational system, state level um, or um, federal level or even city level. It's always approved in the, in the plan of the government educational system. All our programs we pro produce or whatever materials we are just providing to the teachers are all approved by the governmental educational system, special educators, just special authorities who approve it and recommend to use to the teachers in the governmental schools, kindergartens, universities, whatever it is actually preparing for. Now, this was, I was very eager to understand this because the Bible has to be an approved Bible. This is the Bible that this you're using. This is the Bible. How is it different from, from my Bible? Well, uh, you can see this Bible uh, is not required as a religious book. This is book, uh, this is a textbook, uh, to a textbook teachers use to explain uh, the Christian values or Bible values which became to be part of the history and culture for Russia and, and Ukraine. And you said there's no and cross. There's no on cross. The That's why it's not it's not a religious book. It's a, mm -hmm. it's a textbook uh, which teachers use. And this Bible uh, is a full Bible translate uh, from the manus King James manuscript. Same mm -hmm. manuscript as King James translated. But the, the beauty of this uh, Bible is it has a dictionary which has old words 
which uh, actually explain for the students what they mean when they just pick up the new unusual word when they're reading the Bible they can find the what they mean it's very important and was specially prepared for the school but uh, Genesis to Revelation were you were yes. you uh, were you the were you the force behind the inclusion of the dictionary yes and, and did you compile the dictionary yourself no, no, we always use professionals, right. and uh, we just ask professionals to do it, and they just made it. And it was done uh, in the 90s. Now, when you talk about moral education, uh, I'm wondering about the, about the uh, long-term impact here, because I've been reading studies on uh, Russian culture and Ukrainian culture over the past, past little while for something How else. appropriate. Yeah, and uh, I'm stunned, actually, astonished at the uh, prevalence of um, alcoholism and drunkenness uh, drug abuse uh, and um, other kinds of uh, societal ills that currently pervade the atmosphere there. Uh, are you concerned about this and do you see the education that is now happening impacting this in any way? Uh, I'm just concerned as well as you are mm -hmm. about the problems uh, society has both in Russia and Ukraine and uh, uh, that's exactly what we're doing. We're trying to promote that just to prevent, do prevention work through the materials and seminars we're doing for the teachers. We're working very closely with the families, especially for that. We're publishing already for 10 years, Eternal Word magazine, and just start publishing it uh, last year in Ukrainian language. This is Eternal Word magazine, Vichna Slova, uh, which has a, a lot of materials, uh, written materials, for the teachers. Uh, we have special pages for the family reading. Mm. Uh, and it, it all based on the Bible has Bible verses in the magazine. Um, of course, not everybody has Bibles right now. Not every teacher would have a Bible. And our goal is to supply every school in Russia and in Ukraine at least with 10 Bibles, which will give for us the whole school? for the whole school at least. Oh. And so teachers can use this Bible in the classroom when they just teaching Bible um, values in the mm -hmm. classroom. By the way, what's your website? Is it Kindness International? KindnessInternational.org? Dot org. Is that? org. Yes. And you're yeah. going to see it throughout this interview. Yeah, yeah, because, uh, you know, th we don't have a lot of time and there's going to be a lot of stuff that you'll want to get that way. Well, tell me about these two books here. What, what, is, what are these? Uh, these are materials of the international and federal level conferences which was done in Ukraine in the year 2007 and 6 and 8. There's two of those. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know which one uh, each book is. The famous educators from all across Ukraine and uh, Canada, United States, Australia and European countries came to this conference and they discussed about how it's uh, what the best way is to present Bible values to the school children. We're going to go to some wonderful visuals here. I've had the privilege of seeing some of the video, the young people, uh, the camps that you run, the mm -hmm. students who are going over to Russia and being involved and, and so committed and engaging mm -hmm. uh, with the Russian young people and Ukrainian young people. This is re really quite an expanding ministry, video and literature and